Hello, this is Manash Patel from IchimukuTrade.com. Today is April 8, 2014. This is a bi weekly Ichimoku analysis for the global markets. Uh, I've actually, we've been delayed by two weeks due to my Asia trip. Uh, since I went out to Asia for two weeks, couldn't really get to these videos, so I apologize for that. But, anyways, let's begin. Uh, this is our normal disclaimer to state this is for educational use only. We're not soliciting you to buy or sell any particular instrument. All the charts you're going to see today for this vi particular video are going to be from eSignal. Uh, here are our contact details here at info at eiicapital.com. Uh, you could email us there for any questions or anything that you have or you could give us a call at any of our global office locations here. Uh, you could also access our website, IchimukuTrade.com, uh, for our free videos, our heat map, multiple time frame, email alerts. You could also access our blog, which is IchimukuWebsite.com, and various other resources are available out there. Okay, so let's begin, and let's go straight to eSignal and start off in basically Europe. Let's start off with Ireland as we normally do now. Um, so if you look at the charts here, um, if you look at the charts, remember on the left hand side is basically the daily time frame and the right hand side is basically the weekly time frame. Um, these levels here have been pretty much marked from the last video about a month ago. If you look here this was basically the support at 6508. Uh, the resistance, of course, on the Ireland market, 6800, hasn't had a chance to break that at all. However, momentum is on this side right now where it does have a high probability of breaking it, believe it or not, within a couple of weeks. Um, so the probability is still to, to the bullish side, believe it or not. Um, so keep an eye on this one, especially next week. Um, it may be breaking out the 6800 level and moving to another level here. But you could see from the beginning of this year, this is trending up nicely, continued its trend from last year. Uh, and you could see that trend started off in basically 2013, uh, which is right here where we were consolidating and basically broke out and continued to move forward. Uh, it's pretty much moved into 2014 too. Uh, next is basically we'll cover UK market here. You can see it's basically consolidating here. Uh, the consolidation pattern is basically between 6400 and 6879. The next resistance right now that it's kind of stuck at is rough, roughly around 6652. Next market is Germany. If you look at the German market, this is also trending, but it's bullish consolidating right now here at the top. Uh, if you look at the levels here, the support is basically 93.72. Resistance, of course, is this level up here, which is about 9,800 there. Uh, but this is just consolidating, but notice it hasn't gone below the green line at all. So this is still very strong, bullish, believe it or not, um, and really needs to sit there and break out soon. If it doesn't, then momentum would come to the bear side, but the German market is still very bullish. France, if you look at France here, it broke out of this resistance at 43.31. It's trying to sit there and go to this next resistance, which is 46.63. So this is in a bullish trend right now on both the weekly and the daily. Uh, the support level on this is 43.31. That has to maintain in order to, for that trend to continue to keep on going up. Switzerland here. If you look at Switzerland, this is ugly little consolidation pattern now. It is bullish, but basically consolidating between 81.49 and 84.73. And 84.73 is where it's stuck at right now. It's got to sit there and break out very soon. If it doesn't, uh, then it will have a high tendency of coming back down to 81.40. Iceland is next. If you look at Iceland, this is basically pulling back. If you look at the support right here, that's about 357 here. Uh, the resistance here, which is the midpoint 380, and the major resistance here is 394. So this basically is consolidating between 357 and 394. Baltic region here. If you look at Baltic region, it finally sat there and decided to pull back. If you look here, the support level here is going to be roughly around 573. Resistance is going to be roughly around 620. Uh, this is just a major pullback. As long as this holds the 573 level here, this is just a major pullback and it has a high tendency going up, believe it or not. And if you look at it here, believe it or not, next month, this actually can sit there this month, come all the way down here, and then sit there next month, start making a move to come back up. Uh, so it's going to be very interesting to see. Short-term resistance on this guy is going to be about 610 um, on, this, on the Baltic. Denmark here. 
here remember this was bullish trending extremely uh, very uh, strong trend here this is still very very strong trend right now uh, if you look here the support really is roughly about right here it's about 671 resistance is going to be around 720 but this is still very very strong bullish here the daily looks like it's starting to weaken but if it does it's just going for a, ma uh, a major pullback on the daily which will be a minor pullback on the weekly believe it or not so this is still very strong going forward uh, and it probably will be strong going in forward until uh, the second, the Q3 of this year uh, as we move forward. Finland here really not doing anything. It's bullish but consolidating between 71.96, 74.94. So nothing really exciting going on there. Norway here is starting to experience some hiccups here uh, at the at the top here. Can't really break that resistance at 6.19. Support in this one, minor support is going to be 5.99. Major support is going to be around 5.80. So you can see so far in this Baltic area region, Denmark is still strongest one so far. Norway here, uh, we already went for that. Belgium. Belgium here is trending nicely upwards. It's trending on both the daily and weekly. If you look at support, it's going to be roughly around 35. Uh, 3031 uh, and then the next one's going to be about 2951 is the next support on this guy uh, resistance of course is going to be around 7100 but uh, sorry 3100 and 3200 for the Belgian market there Sweden if you look at Sweden here it's broke its resistance at 1350 so it's now support uh, it looks like it's trying to get to 1400 but slowly going up there uh, but it's a very ugly pattern to get up there but this is still bullish trending believe it or not Netherlands here uh, you could see it's bullish trending here but the consolidating in here at the top it's kind of stuck between 380 uh, I would say, let's see what this is. The cloud kind of helps block this off. 385 and 407 is basically the consolidation pattern that you're seeing there. And that was Belgium. Uh, yeah, uh, that was. Okay. Uh, that's Sweden. We went for that. Netherlands here. Netherlands is really not doing anything. That's the one I was consolidating a minute ago. Spain is the next one here. You can see Spain is continuing its upward movement here. Remember, one of the things that we noticed at the beginning of this year was Spain, Greece, and Italy, uh, and Portugal were the ones that were struggling last year uh, with all the fundamental issues that they had in the countries, and the same ones that are basically trending this year. And you can see this held its support right here at 98.81. This sat there and came up here, broke out this resistance level right here at 10.480. Uh, and looks like it's trying to go higher and trying to get to 11,000. It seems like by the end of this year, the only time will tell exactly where it ends up. Greece was one of those other countries here. You can see it's still very strong bullish trending. Uh, it is at a minor support level right now. Major support level is going to be 1792 um, for that particular country. Portugal here is still trending here, and this is very, very strong. Notice how fast it got to 15,000. Uh, it's kind of hesitated here around 15,000, so it's trying to do a pullback. Uh, pullback level is about 14,480 uh, 14, and 13,743. Uh, so those are going to be the critical levels in order for this thing to continue to keep on going up and breaking that 15,000 level. But it's at a really good high right now. Italy, same scenario here. It's at 22,000, which is a nice even number here. So it's going to be interesting to see if it could continue to keep on going up. Pullback levels on this one long term are going to be 20,891. And the next one's going to be, which is a critical one, at 19,980. Sorry. So you could see Portugal, Italy so far is, is very, very strong here. Portugal is strong too. Uh, Greece is a little hesitating here because of this little pullback here, but you could see that Portugal, uh, Greece, Italy, uh, all of them are hitting major, major whole numbers as far as markets are concerned. Uh, and you could see that here from Italy where it's reaching 22,000 here. Portugal here is reaching 15,000. So there are going to be major stumbling blocks to get over that nice even number that you kind of see that, that's going on there. Austria really not doing anything except consolidating between 24, 20, and 26, 88. So nothing exciting there at all. Czechoslovakia consolidating here between 5, sorry, 957 and 1036. Hungary 
here. Look at this downward movement here, which basically broke the support at 17,842. Came all the way down and came back up here. This is one ugly little pattern here that you're experiencing here. And you, so you could see that this is actually ranging here between 16,000 here and 19,589 and that's the big consolidation pattern here that you're seeing here uh, so we hit the bottom we bounce off there we got to the middle close above there so it looks like it's high probability to come back here to 19,589 which is way way up there so that's the Hungary market uh, Poland here not really doing anything except consolidating between 2320 and 2618 it's pretty much at the halfway market which is at 2452 Romania really not doing anything at all it's, this is bullish trending held a support at 6163 trying to get to the top of the range which is 6596 it's at the another minor resistance level of 6451 but it's slowly moving up Czechoslovakia here whoops that doesn't even look good Russia here uh, basically broke the support at 3117 came all the way down here to 2600 level which if you look back here is lower than here so this is trending slowly going down with volatility believe it or not uh, so the next resistance level on this guy is going to be about 3117 support on this one's going to be roughly around right here which is about 2758 for Russia next is basically South Africa if you look at South Africa here, it's bullish trending, but consolidating here. Major resistance level is 10,413. If it holds that resistance level, it has a high probability, believe it or not, to come back and do a major pullback to 9,000. So keep an eye on this one, definitely, because South Africa has been going up for a long time. and looks like it may be due for its first pullback uh, after a very long time. Now we're going to slowly start transitioning to the Middle East. If you look at Turkey, Turkey is really not doing anything except consolidating between a big wide range between 3,800 and 4,600. Just broke a resistance at 40, 4,208 and slowly starting to move up, but this is basically consolidating overall. Israel here broke the resistance at 5807, which is now support for it. Uh, and slowly it looks like it's trying to get to about 6100. Uh, it looks like it'll get there and possibly higher because it's still bullish trending and strong on both the daily and weekly. Saudi Arabia, if you look at the video one month ago, this was at an all time high and going on very, very strong. And you could see it's continuing its process here. Support on this one is going to be 9190 uh, resistance. There is no resistance it's, since it's at an all time high. But you could basically start looking at whole numbers like 9600 and so forth. But there is high probability the way this thing keeps on going that it could reach 10,000, believe it or not, uh, by the end of this year. So we'll definitely keep an eye on there. But it definitely needs a pullback at some point or another. Dubai is continuing its strength to go up uh, to 4,800 possibly very soon. Uh, support on this guy right now is 4,306, which is moving up, and 3,749, which is also moving up. So Middle East is still leading the, everything very, very strong. Abu Dhabi here, you could see a little hiccup here. Uh, in strength but this is still very strong broke for the 5000 level and looks like it's trying to keep on going higher maybe eventually get to 5200 uh, support on this one's going to be 4831 and 4393 but that's also continuing its journey upwards Bahrain uh, this is bullish trending too a little more weak compared to Saudi Arabia and Dubai and so forth but this is still very strong uh, support on this one's 1330. Resistance on this guy is about 1400 right now. Kuwait. You can see here broke the resistance at 1101 and pretty much has not looked back at all since it's broken that level here. So when we last did a video, we were stuck right here. Notice it broke out with that with vengeance, has gone up drastically here. So this is bullish trending on both the daily and weekly now. Oman really not doing anything so this is the one of the weakest of uh, the Middle East countries right there and you could see it really doesn't look that strong bullish at all uh, and it looks like it's trying to go for a major pullback right now Qatar 
here you could see this is strong too and it looks like it's trying to get to its resistance level which is 12,489 which is the next resistance level but overall you could see that Middle East is very very strong with Saudi Dubai uh, leading the pact and going very strong going upwards uh, so they are very strong compared to anything that you're seeing in Europe or uh, East Europe or so forth uh, because you know you have Italy here which is strong here but it's not as strong moving as basically you see that from the Middle East but Italy Portugal is very strong in the Europe region and then you got Middle East Saudi Arabia and Dubai that's very strong out there so let's go out to China and let's look at China if you look at China here really not doing anything much at all except consolidating now between 2059 and 2247 so really nothing exciting going on there Hong Kong it looks that's also consolidating between 21,645 uh, and 22,626, which is the midpoint of the range that it's consolidating between. So China and Hong Kong, nothing exciting here. Korea, same scenario, consolidating between 251 and 264, nothing exciting there. Japan hit an all-time high at 16,215, hit that resistance and then bounced off there. It's at a very critical support right now, roughly around 14,000. It held that. It's at a minor resistance level now. It's got to break this minor resistance level of 14,759. If it does, then it has a high probability of coming back above uh, to retest the high. If it doesn't, this thing could sit there and go for its first major pullback uh, that it hasn't it has seen for a while. Let's go over to the southeast countries now. Indonesia here. If you remember, this is trending here, bullish. And then we said this is the first major pullback it's undergone. And now it's got a high probability of retesting the high. And this thing is slowly breaking resistances to come retest the high. Uh, the last resistance it just broke right now is 48.91. Uh, the next resistance will be 50, 50, 53. So it's got a high probability at least getting to here. And then at that point, we'll have to see exactly what happens there. Thailand. Thailand really not doing anything at all. Bullish trending here. This is the first major pullback. Now it's slowly trying to come all the way up, uh, trying to go higher, just like uh, Indonesia. So you got various resistance levels you're going to have. It's going to meet. And these are the different resistance levels it's going to basically meet and trying to go up. So these are the levels here, uh, which is roughly around 14, let's just say it's about 1450. Uh, then it'd be 1522, 1565. Support on this that it has to maintain to keep on going higher is 1350. So keep an eye on basically uh, Thailand here on going up and trying to retest the high. Philippines here. Also, same thing like the other Southeast countries like Indonesia and Thailand. Uh, you have a bullish trend here. This is the first major pullback. The major resistance it's running, uh, getting close to now is 4,055. If it breaks that, then it's got a high probability of getting to 4,200 and eventually retesting this high here. It has to maintain a support the, around 3,758, which is a major critical support on there. Vietnam. Here, this is bullish trending. This was bullish trending after it broke this resistance level here. It's kept on going. Got to a resistance level that we've mapped out at 25,145. Bounce off there and trying to go for a pullback. A healthy pullback would be at roughly to about 20,600, which it has to maintain at that point in order to sit there, continue to retest the high, and keep on going up. India, which is basically in election time right now, as you know, it broke the major resistance here, 21,248, and it's going higher and higher and higher. Um, it just came back from India. A lot of people didn't think uh, the markets would go up before the elections, but guess what? They did, and you're at an all-time high, and a lot of people are basically on the sidelines still. So watch out for what this market can do, especially with elections going on. Uh, we got a high probability, believe it or not, for the Indian Sensex market to get to 23,000 by the end of this, this year. So keep an eye on that for sure. Uh, Australia. If you look at Australia here, really not doing anything except consolidating between 52.48 and 54.10. This thing has to sit there and make a move to sit there and break out very soon. If it does not do that within the next couple of weeks, this is going to sit there and go back down, believe it or not, all the way back down to about 50.78 or so forth. 
New Zealand, which was the strongest out in Asia, still bullish trending, still going on strong, showing some signs of weakness right around roughly around 5,200, but where it's starting to do a pullback here, pullback level is going to be about, I would say, about 5031, uh, so a pullback level, but New Zealand is still very, very strong um, out here in, uh, in Asia. Um, but India is basically leading the pack right now. Uh, if you look at it short term, long term trend, uh, India has basically moved up, but New Zealand has been a trend that's been intact for a very, very long time. So New Zealand is still very, very strong uh, out in Asia region. Let's come over to the North and South America. If you look at the U.S. Dow market, uh, basically we're stuck at a resistance level of 16,588. Uh, minor support is 16,174, and major support was roughly going to be right here, which is around 15,641 is its major support. The S&P 500. If you look at the S&P 500, broke its resistance level 1850, kind of got very, very close to 1900, quite didn't get there at all with this little spike here, bounce off there, and it's now, now at a major support level 1850, which it came right back to. It has to hold the support in order to get to 1900 and possibly get to 2000. So we're at a very critical level as far as the S&P is concerned. NASDAQ, which was leading the overall markets in the U.S., has pretty much weakened now uh, to a point the S&P is leading the US markets and if you look at the Nasdaq here we came up to a support level of 3475 uh, it has to maintain that support level in order to retest the high and possibly get to 3800 and go higher Canada here if you look at Canada this is still bullish trending here uh, broke the resistance at 14,125 slowly making its move up got to about 14,404 14,400 stopped there, kind of ran into a little obstacle, but this is still very, very strong bullish trending to the upside. Mexico here, really not doing anything at all, got to a support at 38,013, bounce off there, it's trying to, it's at another minor support right now, but the first, the major support, uh, resistance, sorry, it's at a major resistance level right now, but the next major resistance level is going to be around 41,554. But this thing is just ugly consolidation pattern, so nothing really going on there. Argentina has pretty much resumed in the last couple of weeks. It's bullish trend with upward that it took on last year. Remember, this was one of the markets that basically had a 103% return, I believe, uh, and was the best market last overall last year. And this is continuing its journey to the upside. And believe it or not, how strong it is right now, it may have a possibility even getting to 7,000 by the end of this year. So I wouldn't be surprised, but keep an eye on Argentina. <coughs> Santiago, Chile. Really just consolidating between 35.51 and uh, 39.63, so nothing exciting going on there. And then Brazil, nothing exciting here. Bottomed out at 45.270, which is the support we talked about, and then on its way to 53,882, uh, which will pretty much be the top of the consolidation pattern. So. If you look at the overall markets around the world, uh, and just to kind of kick quickly go for a summary of everything that's going on, the strongest markets in Europe uh, pretty much uh, are still pretty much Italy, Portugal, uh, Denmark, and so forth. If you go to the Middle East, you still have uh, Saudi Arabia, Dubai leading that pack out there. If you come out to Asia, you have New Zealand still in a uh, front. Uh, leading the markets in Asia and then you have India second behind there if you look at the uh, Hong Kong China and so forth they're pretty much lagging uh, if you look at the southeast countries they're pretty much in major pullbacks they've gone for the major pullbacks and they're slowly they're making their way up to retest their highs uh, if you look at North and South America uh, North America the S&P is leading the Dow and the Nasdaq now bullish uh, compared to what was uh, the Nasdaq leading it before uh, and if you look at overall the North and South America picture, Argentina is still bullish, trending very, very strong. It's resumed its trend upwards. Uh, so that quickly summarizes the overall global market where we're at now. If you have any questions, feel free to contact us here. I'll see you guys in about two weeks.